is the semimembrana of the sea. Thin membrane is the beginning of the muscle. Thin membrane. Okay, now, see, these are all branches, so-called perforating branches of the deep femoral vessels. This is a sciatic nerve. This is a tibial nerve, and this is the common fibular nerve. And now see, both fibular and tibial give off here some cutaneous branches. See, this is the branch which is arising from the tibial nerve. And from, usually from the American sources, I mean American textbooks, they say that this cutaneous nerve is arising from the tibial nerve, and it is so-called sural nerve. It's here, it's the most classical version of the sural nerve, which is known. See, this is arising from the nerve that is arising here from tibial, but it is arising here also from the nerve which arises from the common fibular. They join here like, for instance, a median nerve, and they run next behind the lateral ankle, forming a sural nerve. Normally, actually, it joins somewhere below uh, the, I mean, it's in the lower third of the, of the leg, and it's the sural nerve. In some textbooks, they say that sural nerve arises directly from the tibial, what you can see here. Many times I met a nerve, I mean sural nerve, rising from the common fibular. So it's quite variable. So whatever is marked here, it's important when it's marked here, it must be a sural nerve. And here don't even waste your time. These two are so-called medial cutaneous sural nerve and the lateral cutaneous sural nerves, but now, there is a vein which goes in company here with, the, with this nerve. Here it's not a good example because it should normally empty into the popliteal. This is the vein which empties into the popliteal. And this one joins with the long saphenous. It's so-called femoral popliteal vein. And here is the short saphenous. But this is a typical short saphenous vein. It courses together with the sural nerve behind the medial, uh, sorry, lateral ankle and they, they, this empties into the popliteal vein. Now, when you consider that lymphatics go in company with the veins, any infection from the lateral border of foot, it drains the superficial, uh, superficially running uh, small saphenous vein, and this ends in the lymph nodes of the popliteal fossa. Mm -hmm. And then via deep lymphatics, it enters the deep inguinal lymph nodes while any infection in the medial, it follows the course of the long saphenous vein, so it immediately causes a swelling of the superficial inguinal lymph nodes, because they are localized in the vicinity where, uh, of the place where it enters the femoral vein.